It's been eight weeks since we started turning this ambulance into our own tiny home on wheels. With no experience, this is a big DIY project, so we're learning as we go. And as we start framing up the build, our biggest lesson this week will be patience. Okay, so as you can see, it's stained and we got the vent cover in and the lights in. And now we just have to make covers for the sides here, which we're gonna do today. But let's show the lights, Nick. We do work. So we have, I figured out three switches. So this one, we'll turn on just the kitchen light. Okay. So, one of us can be in the kitchen while somebody else is not in the kitchen. And then there's this one that'll turn on this bar. Four different brightnesses. And the one next to it. Ooh, the camera's we'll the really thing. excited. One second. Okay, there we go. <laughs> So we've got the lights that work, and we've got a fan that works, so everything up here is good to go. So today we have to um, cover these up, so we're going to make boxes around um, the cables here. And don't know what color that we're going to stain them yet, the same color as the ceiling or the same color as the walls. We have not decided that, so we're going to find out as we go. So now you can see we have these boxes up for our electrical along the ambulance. We're leaving this spot open here because the cupboard's going to go here, then goes all the way to the end on this side. And then we're leaving this spot open because the cupboard is going in here as well. Now we're going to cover these up with cedar and then stain them so that they fit in with the rest of the aesthetic. So we've realized that basically every single thing that we do, it takes us like approximately three to four times the amount of time that we think it's going to actually take. So um, we thought that we'd just be able to put the cedar up on those boxes today and thought this was going to be like a one day journey but it turns out it's actually quite difficult to make sure that we're getting the right lengths and making sure that everything lines up and looks good um, and it's pretty humid out. We've been out since like 10 o'clock this morning. It's at past 5 p.m. now and um, we haven't gotten very far. We've lined up just one of them. So, um, that's where we're at today. We just had a chat and we decided that this isn't fun anymore today, honestly. We're not having a good time. So we're going to call it quits, go inside, enjoy our evening, and then try again tomorrow. So I don't even know if we're gonna return back to doing this exact project tomorrow. Um, we might just start on something else because I was just saying to Nick, like, we can, th this doesn't need to be done right now. We can do other stuff. And uh, we want to make sure that we're having fun and having a good time while doing it. So, that's it, I suppose. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Let's go inside. This is our new breakfast. <laughs> it's our liquid breakfast. So we have, we make a juice and then we make a, a protein shake and then have a coffee. Right? Wrong. <laughs> Nick's already had most of his this morning because I just finished yoga, but he prepared mine so nicely this morning. So we're gonna drink this and then get back to work. So I just want to address something. <laughs> Nick's mom the other day, oh, I forgot my um, engagement ring. Okay, Nick's mom was, she was teasing me the other day and she was like, why in the videos do you complain about the heat all the time when you guys lived in Cambodia? And for anyone wondering the same thing, this is the response that I have just come up with. Number one, 
Nick, how hot has it been here? It's been like 36 degrees. Yeah, like between 35 and 40. Okay, between 35 and 40. I just looked up the temperatures in Phnom Penh this week, and guess what? Every day it's been 36, 37, 38, 39 degrees. Doesn't even reach 40 in Phnom Penh this week. So, number one, it is the same as it is in Phnom Penh. To be fair, it doesn't get as humid as it gets in Cambodia. But at the same time, I would never be so wild to take a project on like this in the heat in Phnom Penh. Yet, we're doing it here. Like, I don't think we ever spent more than an hour outside in Phnom Penh unless we were near a pool. Definitely not. No, like, there's no way. We'd get to a market and be like, hey, never mind, it's too hot. And we'd also be inside, we wouldn't be in the actual sun. Plus, the sun there, it was always behind clouds. It was just extremely humid. Yeah, it was just Here, humid. the sun is directly on you. It's fucking insane. So, would you argue that it's hotter here than Cambodia? It's a different kind of heat. It's a dry heat here. But, yeah, it's, uh... At least you kind of have the humidity there. Just depends on what you prefer. See? And, and also, I hate when people say and also, it's so redundant. Um, also, when people's old. Also, when people's old. Also, I did complain about the heat in Cambodia as well. <laughs> Let's just be super clear. All right, we are finished the boxes, finally. It was a painful day yesterday. I was just not in a good mood. Um, anyways, the reason it took so long is because our back wall is kind of slanted because I sort of half-assed it. And the boxes then became a bit slanted and everything was just in a weird angle. So I had to really customize all the cedar pieces that we were um, that we're putting around the boxes to kind of finish them. So, yeah, it so was... So it takes some brain power. Yeah. And we didn't have brain power yesterday because we weren't in great moods. No. So sometimes you just gotta sleep on it and try again because this time we just hammered it out. No? Yeah. Yeah, so it just required a bit of thinking. So do we agree that we need a good sleep and to be in a good mood to... That's mean. I have to be super vigilant, so I wrote notes. So I've already labeled them um, based on where they're going. As Nick explained, they're all custom made, so we have to remember what's going on the top and what's going on the bottom because they're also gonna be different colors. So the front side's gonna be gray and the underside's gonna be black. So I made all these uh, pieces of paper and I'm gonna put them into piles to try to keep them organized, or else we're just gonna have random black and random gray pieces, which would not be good, but might be what happens if, um, you know, I mess this all up. So let's go. It doesn't look like a total disaster. It actually looks pretty good. Honey, how's it going? Good. Guys, look, we have a cubby in here. So we're gonna just be putting baskets and stuff in here. Um, it's really loud. Um, we're gonna put cedar over top of this so it looks nicer and then of course paint and make it look beautiful, but how nice is that? And then Nick is just still finishing off the like last piece of the cubby at the end there. 
but I have to go film a video actually for our YouTube channel and this one I'm doing on my own and not with Nick so because it's about online teaching so that will be up before this video so it'll be a very futuristic moment but I have to go film that now gonna go do that um, and Nick is gonna continue finishing the cubby and we'll see you tomorrow let's talk here and see how that looks let's do this I really hope that this is the right focus I think that this is the right focus so let's try it out where are we we are in a parking lot Where are we going? To buy So we're gonna go get a nicer grade plywood so that we can start on our cabinets. And um, what else are we doing? Oh, we got extra paint, uh, extra stain that we're returning right now. And then we're gonna get paint paint for the plywood. And we're doing all sorts of things at Rona today. So here we are. And um, Rotorino. Ronarito, let's do it! Also guys, I made this sushi and then we deep fried it in the air fryer. So I guess it's not deep fried, but we air fried it with tempura and they are so good. These are done. They have the first, well almost done. They have the first layer of poly polyurethane on them. Um, I'm just going to sand them with 120 grit and then do another layer of polyurethane and then finally they'll be done and ready to install inside our fan. Heading inside for the day. Um, we had a pretty long day at the store grabbing wood and we were going back and forth with how we're going to make these cabinets and um, what we're going to use and how we're going to finish them or if we're just going to put plywood on and blah blah blah. So we just spent a long time at Rona doing that. Um, we didn't get back till like four, three or four or something and then we like made air fried sushi as you saw. Um, so that took a little bit and by the time we just got out there um, it's just a bit late. Oh, I'm dark. There we go. Um, yeah, it's just getting a bit late and like I'm not, I'm not particularly motivated to get straight into um, uh, some kind of a job or a task and then it gets dark and then I have to like quit it and start tomorrow. Um, so, calling it there because we are gonna have some beers tonight and watch our favorite show, which is Alone. And if you haven't seen it, it is incredible. Sorry, the TV is going in there, so it's kind of loud. If you haven't seen it, it's incredible. It's like our favorite show. It's the season finale tonight. So we're gonna get some beers, we're gonna watch that, and I'm gonna go to the skate park for a bit, and we're gonna get some exercise as well, so. Yeah. This morning, I hope you can't see the clock because it's like two o'clock in the afternoon. It's not the morning at all. We're making, what are we making, Nick? Today I'm cooking with Nick. I'm cooking with Nick. We're making cashew cheese. Like a soft, herby, um, creamy cashew cheese. We've never made it before, but it has to set for like six hours. So we're going to make it before we go out onto the, am work on the ambulance so that by the time we come back, we can have a very cheesy afternoon. <laughs> now, I don't know what kind of mood I'm in today, but it's something. It's something. It's all about posture. <laughs> so you want to hunch your back over like this, nice and low so that you can get down to the countertop. And then you want to push your neck out like this. And you just want to continue zesting this thing. So I'm just rubbing it with a cheese grater right now. And uh, <laughs> not, as you can tell, you're this You're not is... supposed to get to the white part. No, I, that's what I was going to tell you. Oh, so you okay. never want to get to this white part. <laughs> mm. There it is. That's cheese. <laughs> that's cheese. <laughs> Wow, how much of a difference does that make now that those boxes are covered? 
It looks awesome. It makes such a difference. It's crazy. So as you can see too, it's starting to rain. That You can't see that, but you might be able to hear that soon. Um, so as you can see back here, where this is like our, our seats, and then up here, Nick's built a little, um, a little cubby. So this is, down. so it just goes down in here. And so this is obviously just built up, made out of plywood. We're gonna put cedar over top of it so it kind of just blends in with the rest of the ambulance. And then I'm gonna paint back here. But before that, we have to fill it with, what's this called? It's like, it's like trim and baseboard filler. It's just to like, just some white goo. Basically like caulking and then this way it's sealed. We can't lose if we put change up there or something, we're not gonna lose it in the cracks. So this way it's sealed. Yeah, so we're just gonna put that in and then I'm gonna prime it and then paint it. I mean, probably tomorrow, I'll probably paint it tomorrow. So I'll paint the back of this gray and then I'm also gonna stain the cedar that's gonna go over top of this. And then on top of that, the last thing that I have to kind of do is that we bought these. Oh my God, I'm putting steel holes in <laughs> um, We bought these for the corners of the, the um, walls here because I mean on camera it looks okay but they're it's not it's not perfect which is fine so we we bought these what we're gonna do is put them in the corners just to kind of give it a more finished look except I have to stain that as well so I'm gonna stain that the same color as the walls and then hopefully not put any more holes in the same way so sorry <laughs> Cubby is primed and I did a beautiful job. It's not that good. Don't ask me to paint your house. Power um, off. Power off. Power off. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's primed. I'm going to paint it tomorrow. So it's gonna be like a deep gray and then um, I stain the cedar. So we're gonna put that over top. So it's gonna look more finished on that side. And then Nick started on the um, cabinets. So that's exciting. I'm not gonna and get any sleep tonight now. Okay, well. Because every time I start something and I don't finish it, like I've been dreaming about the cabinets and I've been like, I can't sleep. It wakes me up at like 4 a.m. Like, oh, you gotta do this. Like, I'm not like worried about it. I just can't, my brain just won't stop thinking about it. <laughs> I'm so, probably gonna get no sleep. So, Nick's gonna get no sleep. And I am going to get sleep because you got sleep. So that's basically where we're ending it at for today. I would film tomorrow because I think tomorrow is going to be a pretty cool day trying to get these cabinets up. Um, but typically I post these videos on Saturdays. So I have to now go edit this and get it up on YouTube where you're probably watching it. And then um, the cabinets and stuff should be in by next week. And that should be painted and it should look pretty cool in here. So um, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next week. Oh, and in case anyone was wondering, this is how the cheese turned out. Beautifully. The Canucks won. And, okay, now I'm actually saying bye. Bye!